Rockstar Dads here, how are you? Today we're going to have a little look at Harry Styles doing The Chain by Fleetwood Mac. Woo! It's a cracking little song. Let's check him out. One. Guitar's out of tune. It's not the right pattern as well. Mm. Listen to the wind blow. Nice. Watch the sun rise. Beautiful vocal there. Great BVs too. Running in the shadows, damn your love, damn your lies. Nice, Mr. Styles. And if you don't love me now, Easy. you will never love me again. I can still hear you saying you would never break the chain. If you don't love me now, never love me again. I can still hear you saying you would never break the chain. Listen to the wind blow. Nothing wrong with those vocals, man. Break the silence, down the dark, down the light. The guitar's slightly down my head in. Let's have a little stop there. The vocals are superb. He's got a real ease of singing those notes. And those notes, if you're a bloke and you're a singer, you're going to know those notes are not easy to sing for most registers. That guitar is doing my head in. Sorry, mate, but you're having a bad day. What's happened? Maybe your guitar's gone out of tune in the heat of the studio or something. But on that level, when you're playing in a big studio, that's a BBC. And a guitar being out of tune for a professional guitarist, that's unacceptable, man. Sorry, maybe he's having a bad day. I'm, I'm not crucifying you, man. But yeah, guitar's being out of tune. That's not good. Where's the bass? So far, he's got a cool Rickenbacker bass there, ready to do the business. But... There's no bass so far. Drums, they're doing the same job pretty much as a record. Couple extra toms in there. Hang on a wee second. Postman. Harry Styles has got an ease of singing vocals. Those notes are coming pretty easy for him. That's very good vocal technique from Harry. Remember, we're marking this from the point of view, if they were studying a music degree right now at university, and this was one of their performance assessments, what mark would they get for it? We're looking at three elements here. The first element is your creative part writing. The second element is your presentation skills. The third element is your technical ability. And we're marking the whole band, remember. Now, as far as technical ability goes, Harry's scoring really high here. He's one of the band's strongest links. His vocal performance, as we've said, is very strong. It's accurate, it's confident. Sounds confident, right? Visually, well, let's look at that in a minute, but the coordination, the accuracy, the intonation, is it in tune? Yes. And his technique is very good. Harmonies are pretty much in tune, and I don't think there's any tuning going on with that recording. I can't hear it. If they are, they're going easy on the tuning because you can hear it. It's not out of tune, but you can hear that it's not tuned. As far as presentation skills go, 
we're in a studio, but we're still performing, right? So if you're in a studio and there's cameras on, you still have visual interaction. You still have to be sensitive to the music. You still have purpose. You still have to be emotional with the track and try and connect with the track. And you have to create a sense of interest and a sense of occasion. Now, Harry's doing a good job audibly on this, but I would say that sometimes visually he looks slightly nervous. He looks a little bit nervous with the performance, as does the guitar player. I think the guitar player's having a bad day. Those that guitar is really out of tune. Sounds like the B string or the E string. The guitar player, as far as technical ability, mm, I I don't know. That's not the part of the song. There's a finger picking part of the song. Let me get it now. Hang on. Now, that's not an easy piece of guitar to play if you're not used to playing finger style. Now, as you can hear as well, this is what I said, I'm not slating this guitar player because as you can hear on this guitar, this guitar ain't bang on in tune. Guitars are never 100% in tune just because of the physicality of a guitar and the tension of the strings. What I think this guitar player has done here is drop his bottom D and the tension has pulled and the rest of the strings have gone out slightly because that top B or that top E is not in anymore. What I would have done, what I would recommend, and what I would recommend to any guitar players out there playing shows, use two guitars, get a guitar already set up for the detuning so you don't mess about, there's no messing about with tuning and this doesn't happen because that's live on BBC, right? That's not a good advert for a guitar player. Now he's doing okay with the part, he's suggesting the part, but he's not playing it exact as a record. It's enough. Had the guitar been in tune, I think that would have been okay. He's approaching it in a creative way, right? He's approaching it in his own style. As far as the guitar's concerned, at the moment, he's dragging the rest of the band down. As far as the arrangement's concerned, I don't know why the bass isn't in at the moment. Maybe they're waiting for the final bass motif at the end of the song to bring the bass in so there's more impact in the arrangement. I don't know. No pick on the base, no fingers. Okay, so let's look at those three elements and let's give it a mark. Remember those three elements we're going to look at, we're looking at arranging skills and creative part writing. 
we're looking at presentation skills and we're looking at evidence of applied technical ability. As we said before, technical ability, Harry's scoring high there, right? Drum wise, they're doing pretty much the same as the record. There's nothing creative about what the drums are doing there. Really, there's a couple extra toms in there. Presentation wise, she looks like she's into it, right? So she's doing okay. There's a sense of occasion, there. there's a sense of interest. You can tell she's emotionally and pur purposely, purposefully, purposefully playing the drums. I'm glad I can cut in and out of some of this stuff because some of these words I'm tripping over. I know I speak fast, I trip over myself. Yes, Harry scores high, drums in the middle. Bass, why, why is there no bass on the chorus? I don't understand why there's no bass on the chorus there. I'm sure that guy could easily play that chorus. He's got a bit of grit on the bass, which sounds nice when he comes in. If you guys can hear any crazy noises going on, there's a bit of building work going outside. So yes, you just have to bear with his, the vocal performance was good. He could have went for other notes at the end. I think by the end of it, you could kind of tell that the band weren't as rehearsed up as they probably could have been. Vocally, I think they spent a bit of time. The rest of the band, they're kind of busking that. Won't get fooled again ending on there, which everybody uses that, right? It's rock and roll, meat and potatoes. But we could have done something a little bit more creative. Guitar solo wise, I think, yeah, I think the guitar player's struggling a bit on that day. I think, yeah, the guy needs a sleep. That's what I'd recommend. I think go and have a little sleep. I'm going to give Harry, for that performance, we're going to give him a first. Mm. Out of tune guitars on that are unforgivable. And somebody in the band before they started that or during it should have said, OK, cut. Let's start again. Because they're in a studio, somebody could have said that. So for that, I'm going to drop it under the first. So first class is 70 to 100. That's the top mark. Anywhere between 70 and 100. A 2-1 is between 60 and 70. That's the second mark. The third mark you can get is a 2-2 two -two between 50 and 60. And then you get a third, which is between 40 and 50. I'm going to give that a 2-1. It's not getting a first because, like I said, I think that's unforgivable, the guitars being out of tune there. There we go. Harry Styles, it gets a 6-8. That's what we're going to give it for the chain Fleetwood Mac. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Yeah.